Hey there, good to meet you. Dr. Bob here, and uh, heard you uh, heard you contracted yourself a virus. Uh, so, uh, so I'm going to show you how to get rid of that virus. Uh, normally, I would prescribe something for you, but uh, <laughs> unfortunately, the, uh, the uh, pharmacy won't take my prescriptions anymore. So, uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. So, uh, so we're just going to do some surgery here and uh, clear up your virus. Uh, what? Of course I'm a real doctor. <laughs> if I wasn't a real doctor, would I have so many malpractice suits? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's not really that funny. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's just get started and uh, go get that virus. Hey gamers, Retro Rob here, and as you know, I do like the Pow Kitty X18 quite a bit, but one of the big problems with the X18 is that pre-installed on the system is a firmware updater named ADUPS, and the ADUPS firmware updater is a pretty insecure piece of software that could be used and may well be used by their factory to uh, speculatively read off of your device and could potentially be used to steal data from your device or at least take a really good look at it. So you really don't want that on there. So I'm gonna show you how to get it off. All right, step one, go to your settings gear. Your setting gear might be somewhere else on your system depending on how you have it laid out, but just look for a gear that kind of looks like this. It might be in a different color. It'll be there somewhere. But it basically puts you into settings here. I want to scroll down to the bottom, go to about game machine, scroll all the way to the bottom and tap on this build number. Now you see right now it says no need you're already a developer but what you'll get if you haven't done this yet is a little countdown and tap at the number of times it tells you to do in the countdown. It'll ask if you want to enable developer mode. You're going to want to do that. Then I'm going to hit B, go back, go into developer options and you're gonna scroll down and you are gonna look for USB debugging and make sure that that is on. And once USB debugging is on, you're ready to go on the next step. So you're gonna to have to go up to your computer. Now we're in our computer, you'll need to open up a browser window. You can use whatever browser you want. I'm using Google Chrome here. And we are going to go to dl.google.com slash android slash repository slash platform dash tools dash latest dash windows dot zip. And I'm just gonna hit enter here and download that file. Don't worry, there's a link down below to this file. You don't need to memorize that. Okay, now that we've downloaded it, we're gonna to go to our downloads folder. There we go, and there is our file. I'm gonna right click on that. I'm gonna extract all. This is built into Windows, so this should be exactly the same on yours. And I'm extracting, and it says show extracted files will complete. So really it's gonna put us into a subdirectory. And there we go. Inside here is all the tools we need. I'm going to rename this though just to tools, makes it a little bit easier. You don't have to do it, but it's what I'm doing. Now I'm going to drag it onto the C drive. This is generally not a recommended practice, just so you know, uh, but it's uh, just an easy way to get to it in this particular case, so there we go. Now I am going to right click on my start menu and I am going to run CMD go. Now I'm going to change my directory. There we go. And then see tools. I could have just done slash tools if I wanted to. But I was feeling productive today. Which I'm not. Hit dir and I can see that ADB exa is available. So let's take a look here in the command line and make sure that our device is connected. For the next step, we are going to plug in the Pow Kitty X18 via USB to our computer. So I'm gonna plug it in right now. Real quick note, when you plug in your X18, you might get this message, allow USB debugging. Always allow from this computer and hit okay. You're definitely going to need to do that. What should happen is you should get a message saying that it's been connected and you should see 
a drive or an importer like this. This drives me nuts. I hate this thing. It opened up on the other window. But anyway, all right, there we go. So you'll see both drives, but what you should get, I'm gonna type in ADB devices, and I should see my device, but I don't right now. Generally speaking, the drivers for this are automatically installed by Windows. I tested this on a fresh install and it absolutely worked. However, for some reason, this copy of Windows, it did not. So what happens if you try this and there's no device attached? Well, you're gonna have to download some drivers for it. So go back into Google Chrome. Don't freak out, it's all right. You'll, you'll make it. So I'm gonna go to developer.android.com slash studio slash run win USB. And basically I wanna download this Google USB driver and I'm gonna hit this. Of course, I'm gonna put the link down below. Download that driver. And I'm gonna go into my downloads folder. Sorry about that, it's off the screen. And I am going to right click, extract all, because that's so exciting to do. And here we go, USB driver. And let's right click on that info file and install it. And yes, I trust Google. And you can't see it right now, but it's telling me that it completed successfully. Sorry about that. All right, I wanna point out again that the last step I showed you should not have been necessary. It happened in my case and I left it there just in case it happened to you. Uh, however, it shouldn't happen. Anyway, ADB devices. All right, so now I see that my device is attached and I can continue on to the next step. All right, time to get down to business now on the command line. You're gonna type in adb shell pm list packages dash f and the output of this is a list of the packages that are installed in your x18. Do yourself a favor, copy and paste this right now, put it in a notepad and then search for adubs and you're gonna find that, uh, make sure you use wrap, you know, so it searches the whole document, but you're gonna find that adubs is on there. and that is the thing we're gonna get rid of here. And so now I'm gonna type adb shell pm uninstall dash k dash dash user zero com dot adubs dot photo. And then you're gonna hit enter. You're gonna get a success message. That means you have successfully removed adubs, but don't, don't stop yet. You gotta, you gotta kill the rest of it. So you're gonna type adb shell pm uninstall dash k dash dash user zero com dot adups dot photo dot sysoper. You can see it on the screen. Sorry, it wraps around there. That kind of is a bummer, but it did in this case. Might on yours too. And then hit enter again and success. Boom. It has now been removed and disabled from your system and it is gone. And you, you can test that if you want. Uh, because you could just go right back and do an ADB shell PM list packages dash F, copy that, paste it in notepad, and you're gonna note that ADUPS is now gone. So you are now essentially spyware free on this device. So uh, go ahead and install your Amazon and uh, you are ready to go. Uh, by the way, you can use this to un uninstall other things. Uh, so if there's other uh, packages that you want to uninstall, you can use this command and remove them even if they're generally uninstallable. Uh, please note that if you do restore your system, do a factory restore, this stuff will be back in and you're going to have to do it again. That's it. You are now free and clear to go. Drive safely, folks. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.